Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to um, talk you through today very briefly our relaunched Harp library. It's called Harp Redux. Um, we're very excited about this. We've added some sample content and we've completely rescripted it from the ground up. So it's um, really a, a fantastic update this is and a great refresh of, um, of a classic library. So first of all, I'll talk you through the articulations. We have the um, normal, uh, kind of uh, the usual plucked playing style, which sounds like this. Now you'll remember that we have um, hand damped releases, which if I play them, if I play a very short note, you'll hear them the loudest with the hands going back onto the strings. If you hold the sus pedal down, it just rings out. But you can turn these releases and also the um, sound, the, the sound of the hall down by doing that. And then you get this. Oops. So that's a useful little control there. Um, you can adjust things there. Um, there's the usual dynamics and expressions. You can map um, CC1 to velocity instead of playing with velocity. And we have down here a pedal control. I'm going to show you that very quickly. When you engage this by setting some of the pedals, um, then what happens is the black notes don't work anymore, but the white notes are now altered by the pedaling. So if I play from a D, So that's really, really useful. And then if we, um, I'll show you, I'll put the, the F back to F natural and play the same. So you can see that that's a fabulous little tool to have. And then when we set those back, uh, we just get the normal, um, straight back to the normal controls again. So the next one up is Pro de la Table. This one is a more brittle. A more brittle sound. It's um, played closer to the edge of the strings. This one is flageolet, is the harmonics. So that's a lovely sound as well. Um, I'll come back to that in a sec. We've got the bispigliando, which is the tremolo. Controlled dynamic by the mod wheel. So that's an incredibly useful sound. Um, and we've got some new effects. So some great stuff in there as well. Now let's come back to this. This is the um, new, the main new articulation which we've added, slid notes. Um, we call them this because the fingers kind of slide on the strings and this is, this is uh, recorded in such a way as to mimic the way that the fingers touch the strings while playing a glissando. So if I go back to my um, lovely scale which I had set before and then um, you'll see that this, this um, if I play a kind of gliss on the white notes you'll hear what I mean. So you can hear it sounds more like a kind of, more like a, a glissando type of effect. Um, so that's incredibly useful. Even if we, let's just switch this back to normal keyboard playing mode and I'll just play it just like a normal harp. You can hear it's, it's a different sound to the normal version. It's slightly less defined and it's slightly more rough around the edges, but it does have a, a, a really nice kind of beautiful, a really lovely kind of attack at the start of the note. So it's a very useful sound in its own right. Um, so let's go on to the glissandi, uh, the recorded glissandi. So we've got two ways of playing these. There's the, the uh, way that we had before. Now with this, you've got, um, all of the scales here are laid out on the key switches. Um, again, you can use the key switch shimmier uh, here to drag those up and down uh, by clicking and dragging left or right. You you can switch them using the front panel. Um, let's put the close mics in as well. And then you play, um, so they, they're laid out F to E, um, then the bottom octave, whoops, sorry. <laughs> the second octave, is the swirly glissandos. The bottom octave is just straight. And then you'll see we've got a speed control. You can switch between fast and slow. So um, we've got direction controlled by the mod wheel. So, 
So you've got all of those. Now we're playing whole tones at the moment. Now we've divided the harp into four registers. So the so with that bottom octave being the straight sweeps, then the next octave from F to E being the swirly ones. Then when we get up to this octave, we're in the lowest register of the four registers in the harp. And I'm going to play these four Fs so you'll hear what they are. So lowest. So obviously direction. <laughs> I just caught that with the, the headphones. That's going, um, so we're going up now. So these are the F ones. Now you just play another note to get a, a different um, root note. Or let's play, a, let's play something out of that whole tone scale. And then if we try switching to a minor harmonic, you'll hear a much clearer difference. So. So you'll hear that the actual, although the harp is divided into the four registers, the actual position of the individual um, octave within the, the, those registers is determined by the range of the harp overall, obviously. So that's why some of the, some of them go down, appear to go down, because because of the relative position of the um, of that register for that key within the actual full range of the harp. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm not explaining that terribly well, but there we go. Um, minor melodic, the major, we've got the pentatonic, um, and we've got um, diminished scales as well. So that's a fantastic tool there, but here's something very cool as well. We've got a legato version. So the way that this works, there are two key switches. There's the scale gliss and full gliss and swirls. The scale gliss is, um, I'm going to show you, is where we've divided again um, our registers of the harp, the four registers, and these are laid out in the same way as before, F to E. But this time, to control the scale, you're going to use a legato interval. So you're going to play your first note and then uh, hold that down while you play a second note. So this is easier to... Um, easier to get under your fingers than to kind of explain in some ways, but but there are six different intervals um, from a minor second up, and these represent, in order, the whole tone, minor harmonic, minor melodic, major, pentatonic, and diminished scale. And you play them like this. So if I play F to an F sharp, you can hear where I hit the F sharp, where holding down the F and then hit the F sharp, I get, that generates in this register that I'm playing in, um, the whole tone scale starting on F. If I play that in reverse, F sharp to F, I get the same thing but in reverse. I get the downwards direction. Um, again, we've got the speed control and um, and that controls whether you're hearing a fast or a slow glissando. So th the same theory applies. So if I play F to G, I get minor harmonic. And then if I play a D to E, minor harmonic again. Um, so that's controlling and then back the other way. So that's the way that you play. It's it's actually incredibly intuitive once you've started messing around with it. Um, so we're very excited about this. Another way to play Glissandi which is which is a really um, a really useful addition to the palette. So that's the basic um, basic rundown of the main harp stuff. Now we also have our Mercury synth um, set up here with some new Harposphere patches and we've opened this out now, added new content to it. So it's um, something that's coming with the Redux version of the of the harp. Um, and these are again some fabulous kind of weird noises. There's some some strange synths in here. There's some uh, interesting kind of sound design. Um, you know, lots and lots of, lots of, lots of interesting little things. Some stuff that's controlled by mod wheel. Um, and then my personal favourite. So there's some really great stuff in here, and we've we've put it all into the um, into the engine of the Mercury synth. So again, you can see, I'm not going to spend ages talking about that in this particular video, but you can see in, um, for example, our Iceni walkthrough how the Mercury synth operates and how all the controls work. But it's a, a fantastic update to, um, to this library. So there we go. That is the Harp Redux library. 
Um, we're very excited to be relaunching this today and um, hope you'll enjoy the update for those um, users. It's a free update to people who've already bought and you'll be getting your links over the next 24 hours. And um, for everybody else who's coming into the um, Harp library, this is a, a great new set of functions which we've added onto the front end. So I hope you enjoy using the new Harp products library. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.